Hello guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Rimuru's Return to the Modern World Tensira X Roshadir by Sisnax. Chapter 7. The Lord and the Lady CL's Pav do you ever have those couples in school where the whole school knows that you're dating? Well, that's what happened to Rimuru and I let me explain. Flashback to one month ago Seirei Private Educational Institute. In the past, it has produced many graduates active in political and business circles, and this combined school of junior high, high school and university boasts top-level deviation value in academic grades. Its history was ancient. Formerly, many children of noble families attended the institute, making it a prestigious school with a long and honorable origin. On the opposite of such a long-established school building, was a tree-lined street where students were walking. They were walking towards the school building, bustling in chatters with their friends and classmates but as soon as one female student passed through the school gate and revealed herself, the atmosphere immediately changed. Everyone who saw her uniformly expressed their surprise and admiration, and their eyes were following her figure. Wow, what's with this girl? She's so beautiful, IT was too far away at that time. Haha, <laughs> amazing. Up close, she looks just like a fairy. That's right, isn't it? I'm the same sex and older but, it's a little bit overwhelming, isn't it? With transparent white skin that was impossible to be seen on genuine Japanese people, and long slit yellow eyes that shine like gold. And then her long blonde hair, cut in a short and choppy bob with two longer shoulder length locks of hair framing her face. She has two blue flowers on hair given to her by her lover. A. N. I can't explain her hair so here's a photo to help you guys out. In addition to her unparalleled appearance, she was tall for a girl and had long, slender arms and legs. She had an outstanding figure that embodied the ideal of every woman in the world, with a figure that showed where it needed to come out and retract in the right place. Hey, that? Is that another otherworldly beauty like Kuju san? Is she one of the new transfer students? Who's that girl? To be lucky from the morning. Say, you. Why don't we go and greet her for a bit? Impossible, impossible. It's discourteous, hey hey, it isn't like you who doesn't mind calling out any beautiful girl, no matter who she is. Are you scared of just greetings? Idiot. Her level, or rather she's on a different dimension. If you're going to talk like you go and greet her. Don't want to. I won't want to do it poorly and get the attention of the other boys. From the surroundings, regardless of gender, their gazes turned towards envy. Everyone naturally slowed down their pace, while avoiding her left and right. She walked leisurely without showing any kind of concern. There, a male student approached her. Seeing this person in question, the surrounding students became noisy. Yo, morning. It's a nice morning, isn't it? As he said that, he showed a refreshing smile. Seal didn't stop her feet as he glanced at him. She confirmed that he was a senior by the color of his necktie and she gave a slight bow. Good morning. Yeah, morning. Nice to meet you, I guess. I'm a second year, Andu. Is that so? The male student, who introduced himself as Andu, had a dyed light brown hair and slightly worn out uniform. Around his neck, silver accessory was peeking out, he was quite a handsome man, like a fashionable youth these days but, CL's response was curt. While the girls in the surroundings screamed in high-pitched voice at that sweet smile, Seal dealt with it uninterestedly without changing her expression. I've heard about you from other students who were gossiping and I've heard of an otherworldly beauty new transfer student. From before meeting you, I've always been thinking of seeing you. What do you think? If you like, would you like to have lunch together during lunch break or would you like me to show you around the school? No, thank you. I have a friend in school already who would be more than happy to show me around. She answered immediately without even a hint of hesitation. Towards her cold manner, Andu showed a weak strained laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. How cold? If that's the case, can we at least exchange contact information? I want to know more about you. Team sorry, but I'm not interested in you. If that's all you have to say, excuse me. Ah, uh, also. She's taken. A quick reply comes from the person behind her. This person put his hands on CL's shoulder. The person with flowing blue hair that goes down all the way to his lower back. Similar to Seal. He had golden eyes that glistened under the morning sun he had a nice frame as there were no signs of bagginess in his school uniform, instead, 
it filled up perfectly with the right amount of space for it to be considered comfortable. Many girls stare in awe as he looked like a god had just descended. He is god but that's beside the point, he had a visible frown when looking at Andu. I'm sorry but who are you? Are you another transfer student? Ando asks with visible confusion displayed on his face. Ah, I apologize for not introducing myself, my name is Rimuru, and I too am a transfer student. She also just happens to be my girlfriend so I really don't appreciate you flirting with her. Rimuru comments, while pointing at the obvious flaw of asking someone out just after introducing yourself. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know she was dating someone. Andu quickly apologizes profusely after just asking someone with a boyfriend. Just don't do something like that again, okay? Let's go Seal. Seal just nods and follows Rimuru to the school doors. The pair walk through the doors and enter the building. The building was really big with wide hallways to accommodate for all the classes. The pair walk on through, this time without much gossip being made. They arrived at the principal's office and knock. After hearing a, come in, the pair walk in. Hello Rimuru and Seal. The principal says, hello Principal Yamamoto. A, N. Don't let me cook on the names. I was thinking of the Yamamoto line in Tokyo. They both say in unison as they bow, ah, no need to be so stiff, come sit down here. The principal gestures to the couches. The couple sit down and after that look at the principal for further instructions. Seal looks around at the wooden room with a bookshelf on one side and the other filled with awards and trophies. The principal continues speaking. You know Rimuru, I listened to one of your dad's courses on investing. Rimuru looks quite shocked at the fact that his father was holding courses. Wait what, my dad has a course? Well of course, he's one of the best investors of the 21st century. They say that he came out of nowhere and just started making money. Some people even say to follow whatever trades he does and you will become a millionaire instantly. Rimuru looked at him shocked. Ever since he came into this world, he had a strict routine of waking up, eating breakfast, exercising, games for the whole day while eating lunch and dinner that he ordered before sleeping again. Seeing the news wasn't something he did at all as he didn't know his father was such a big shot. Well I just learned something new, thank you principal. No problem, we have some administrative things to care of here and after that you can go to the faculty room once we're done here. The principal gives a guide book for Rimuru and Seal as they complete other things. Once they finish they go in form of their existence to their homeroom teacher. As they walk towards the classroom Seal thinks about how she should introduce herself. Once they reach the classroom, the teacher tells them to stay outside before entering the classroom. All right before we start homeroom, we have to welcome two new transfer students. Come on, both Rimuru and Seal enter in the classroom the instant they come in the whole class starts to blush. Oh brother this is about to get interesting. 